of fun for many quickly turns to chaos when gunfire erupts at a large concert hall in Moscow, Russia. It is the deadliest attack the country has seen in years. More than 60 people were killed and over 100 others injured as crowds gathered for a performance by a Russian rock band. Tonight, we are learning more about who is taking responsibility for the attack. KTLA's Chris Wolf joins us live from the KTLA News Center with more. Chris? Yeah, Cher and Micah, ISIS is claiming responsibility for the carnage. And tonight we know that U.S. intelligence officials say they have verified that claim. Those officials say they recently learned that the Islamic State's branch in Afghanistan was planning an attack in Moscow, and American authorities shared that information with Russian officials. Many people are now wondering if the attack could have been prevented. <laughs> It was a deadly terrorist blitz on concert goers in the Russian capital, leaving dozens dead and more than 100 others injured. It's unclear exactly how many attackers were involved, but according to witnesses and reports, at least three or four men dressed in combat fatigues stormed a concert hall on Moscow's western edge and used assault rifles to spray the crowds with bullets. One victim says people were running into each other in complete panic, even trampling some of those who fell to the ground in a desperate attempt to escape to safety. And there's more. The intruders tossed explosives into the venue, which quickly set the scene on fire. Some images showed the concert hall in flames with a collapsing roof. The assailants apparently vanished before police and special forces arrived. The violence erupted just days after President Vladimir Putin cemented his power in what's being called a highly orchestrated electoral landslide. <laughs> Russian officials say Putin was informed about the attack just minutes after it happened. ISIS, the Islamic State group, is claiming responsibility. The White House is reacting. The images are just horrible um, and uh, just hard to watch, and our thoughts obviously are going to be with the, the victims of this terrible, terrible shooting attack. Um, and I think, you know, you, you look at that video if you have, and you got to recognize that there's some moms and dads and brothers and sisters and sons and daughters that haven't gotten the news yet. And this is going to be a tough day. Um, so our thoughts are with them. John Kirby is warning Americans in Moscow to avoid large public gatherings at concerts or shopping centers for the time being. Moscow's mayor canceled all mass gatherings, with theaters and museums closing for the weekend. Security has been tightened around the country. Russian investigators say the attack has left more than 60 people dead so far. 145 were injured, including several children. Live in the News Center, Chris Wolf. KTLA 5 News.